What I'm doing here is macerating the fibers of the milkweed. I have two instruments that I use. One is called a mold or it's a screen and the other is a deckel and deckel is German for cover. I will cover the mold with this and next step is to what we call pulling a sheet of paper. So if we go down and pull the fiber up and I'm shaking that to get the lines or the fiber uh, somewhat evenly uh, processed on the screen. It also helps to link uh, the fibers together on that. And here it gives you an idea of how it's on the sheet. I need to let that drain a little bit, uh, otherwise it'll fall off the screen when I try to cooch it. And cooch is French for <laughs> un putting under the blanket. This is a 20 uh, ton hydraulic press, otherwise it can put 20 tons of pressure up on the paper. And what that does is help bind the fibers and also take out a lot of the water. Paper coming right out of the vat is about 90% water. And I'll take out some of the milkweed right now that I have in there pressing. The milkweed has a little fleck in it. I don't know exactly what that is. Hey, do you want to come in? Come here. Chicken. To me, this, it's just as much fun to watch, you know, this kind of stuff. What happens, the sound, do you want to hear the sound of this? Sure. After it's settled for a while, and I've broken up all the lumps, I will... <laughs> ...go ahead and, and get, you know, get all the, the big stuff broken apart, and then... <clears throat> I'll check it, you know. And after a while, you let it settle and basically the specific weight of the earth, the heavy stuff will settle. Mm -hmm. All the gold's at the bottom. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll pour off the water and I'll actually re reuse it for the next batch just because it's, I don't have running water in here and I, mm -hmm. it's just easier because it does get pretty cold in here, so yes. we don't need to draw any water. I'll get me a little, get a cup or some, it's a pretty good size. That's kind of fun too. The purpose is to dry it to a consistency that I can work mm -hmm. with. I don't know if you saw Tom shake the paper earlier, but I watched him shake the pulp yes. like that. I'm going, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'll do that too. <laughs> well, that's how. Anyway, so I'm going to take this and I've got a, a, an old baker's rack out there. Mm -hmm. And I'll take that out there and let it dry. Mm -hmm. No one clay.
well. We're going to use a bisque fire um, to fire the, the tiles that we're using for the project. Mm -hmm. And probably between five and seven hours, depending on how mm. full the kiln is. artists are going to be showing? Um, 10 or 15. When I am a cowgirl, we'll ride along the ridge Out into the desert and out onto the cowboy's reach